Yo, what it do, it's all man. As you guys can see by the title and thumbnail, today is the official start of my no money spent talents in NBA 2K24. And this has been something that I have been pretty much putting off all year, and I have finally decided to start it. And pretty much the reason was that I couldn't find like what build I wanted to do it on, but I have found the perfect build, and I will make sure to show y'all how to build this build in a minute. But first, I want to let y'all know everything that I am doing for this no money spent. So as you guys can see, we will be using my regular Dom Too Much TV account. But make sure you guys watch all the way through so I can explain exactly how this is going to work. So on this build and throughout this series until this build reaches a 99, I won't be playing on any other build on my account. Rather than this 3-level threat and most of the time that y'all see me playing on him will be on live. So therefore you guys can fact check and understand when and how I got VC and stuff like that. So therefore it's no claims of me scamming or buying VC or anything like that when let alone... I really am the last person to buy VC when it comes to this game because I have been telling y'all about boycotting it by wearing brown shirts and gray pants and everything. So really, it really should be no like speculations of me scamming and stuff like that. But yeah, for this video and for this series, I will be doing no money spent all live on Twitch. Make sure y'all follow my Twitch. And also, I will be making sure to multi-stream soon so the streams will be here on YouTube as well. So make sure y'all have my notifications on. But like I said... This will all be doing on the Dom Too Much TV account. I did make a new account right here where I was going to do use this Broke Too Much account to do the no money spent. But the reason that I didn't do this is because of stuff like this, bro. You guys see on this build, I literally have all of my takeovers unlocked. And you look at my badges. I got my floor setters unlocked. Like, it's no real reason for me to make this good of a build on an account that misses out on almost four or five levels of floor setters. And then also I will have to grind my takeovers again and stuff like that. It's no point of me having to do that when I already have this stuff unlocked. Plus I got my rep unlocked. Uh, I'm starting to like, it's just no reason for me to do it on another account when I can just do it on here. And also document it with y'all live on my Twitch and on YouTube. So it's kind of a win-win situation for both parties. Bro. But as I told y'all, this build that I will be doing this mo no money spent is insane. So let me go ahead and get into the builder and show y'all exactly what build I am using. So when it comes to the build, you guys can see this is the slot that we're using right here. It's the third slot, and you guys can see I got a title. No money spent. He's a three-level threat shooting guard, and he is a 6'9", bro. It's my first 6'9 I made this year. I got a 6'6", six, six, I got a 6'8", I got a 7'1", and now I have a 6'9 to round things off. And now let me find the save file for this build because Loki, I forgot where I made him at. I believe he is right here. So we open up this build, and you guys can see. He's at a shooting guard. Well, I'm going to show you everything first. Dom, too much, of course, for the name. Left-handed. Number two. And you continue. And he is at a shooting guard. 6'9", 185 pounds with a 7'1 wingspan. And for these stats, we are looking at this right here. And all around, crazy build on this game, bro. First, starting off with the finishing. I haven't had a build this year with contact dunks. So finally allowing me to have a build this year that gets at least a 90 dunk to get those contact dunks. Plus stuff like Silver Posterizer, Silver Slithery Finisher, and also some Hall of Fame and Gold Badges was definitely a major key for me when determining on making a new build. Because you guys know, I already wasn't buying VC, so this, by me doing it on Money Spent, gives me a chance to make a new build without having to buy VC, you know what I'm saying? So, I made a build that can slash, he gets the contact dunks, he also does get that very important 45 standard dunk which allows us to get a uh, Hall of Fame, or not Hall of Fame, but Gold Precision Dunker and Gold Area Wizard. But I didn't get it by getting a uh, 45 center dunk. I got those by getting this driving dunk at a 90. And then, of course, you guys know, any build that I've made since my first build has had over an 85 post control. And that pretty much isn't going to change because of how cheap it is and plus also how overpowered it is. If you go up against a small guard with this post control and Hall of Fame post spin technician, you are completely clearing them out the way. Now, I know you guys will be looking at one thing, and that is me not boosting this, boosting this up to a 92 to get that gold unpluckable. Listen, when it comes to somebody like me, bro, I've been getting ripped up with gold unpluckable all year plus a 93 ball handle. It does not matter what ball handle you have on your build, the way the gameplay works in this game, or what unpluckable level you have. The way unpluckable and the way that uh, glove and right stick ripper works in this game you're going to get ripped regardless, in my opinion. So as long as you have it on at least silver, it should, like, stop it a little bit. But once you go to gold, I've seen no increase in my attributes or anything like that or in my gameplay just for me personally. So therefore, I found no need to sacrifice all of this other stuff when it comes to putting my unpluckable to gold. You feel me? That's just how I feel. 
But hey, if y'all want to do something different, y'all can maybe take his three-pointer down, take his ball handle or something like that down. But when I tell y'all that literally every single one of these stats is important to this build, how I have them, literally all of these stats is important. So now that we're done with the finishing category, let me go ahead and show y'all what we did with the shooting. As you guys can see, we got a 90 mid-range and a 78 three-pointer, which means with this build, you get gold dead eye, gold blinders, gold green machine, space creator, Hall of Fame open looks, Hall of Fame comeback kid, gold mini magician. Like, you get all the key shooting badges you need to be able to shoot from three and a mid-range, of course, since you have a 90 mid-range. But also, you get a 78 three-pointer, which means we get the bronze eights and threes. But the one thing that I hated with this build, if I could change one thing, it would either be to be able to get an 86 three-pointer on this build to get bronze limitless range and also silver eights and threes. Or it would be to come into the finishing and get a 94 driving dunk and an 80 driving layup. But... I just had to kind of equal them out on both of these categories, so therefore we ended up with a 78 three-pointer, which is still very good in this game, bro. If you got over a 76-3, you should have no problem shooting, plus you get a 90 mid range to unlock the good jump shots. We'll be perfectly fine, bro. So now, you guys can see we got a 71 free throw for the bronze three points, and now we move down to the playmaking. So, for the playmaking, we get a 60 pass. Actually, I'm going to just start off with this because I know a lot of you guys may be saying, yo, you cannot take this build to the twos. Don't take this build to the threes. This is a only ones build. Uh, I got a lot of people that's been playing with the 25 pass accuracy or 50 pass accuracy. A lot of these stats in this game, bro, if you know how to play, you have IQ, you will be perfectly fine when it comes to having a stat as low as a 60 pass accuracy. And low-key, in my opinion, it's not necessarily that low. It just means that I won't be throwing the same passes that I can throw on a 91 pass accuracy build. You feel me? So with the 60 pass accuracy, trust me, you guys will see live on Twitch. Make sure y'all follow the Twitch. And also when I go live on here... A 60 pass accuracy can get the job done, bro. I will be perfectly fine when it comes to passing the ball, when it comes to hitting my players when they open and stuff like that. A 60 pass act, I'm cool with it. And then when it comes to the ball handle, we get an 80 ball handle, which unlocks some very good sigs. We still get the John Wall uh, step back and also some good behind the backs, moving crossover, signature size ups, all of that stuff like that. And then the speed with ball, we unlock a 75 speed with ball. I forget what dribble style we unlock with this, but just know that you do get some of the best dribble styles in the game, you feel me? And I've been hearing from a lot of people that speed ball don't matter. In my opinion, it does. On my 6'6 with the 86 speed ball, I have a very big difference when it comes to dribbling down the court in transition compared to my 7, uh, I said 7 one, to my 6'8 with the 79 speed ball. So that's just my theory. But yeah, on this build, we do have a maxed out speed ball and also an 80 ball handle. And you guys can see all the badges that we do get is mostly silver and bronze. And now to finish off the defense, which is low-key probably my favorite part about this build. So you guys know, I have seen every side of this game from a build with a 65 perimeter to a build with a 94 perimeter. And with me having an 85 perimeter on my 6'6 guard build, bro, when I tell y'all 60, I mean an 85 perimeter and silver clamps, listen, it is sticky on this game, bro. So knowing that I have this plus that 7-1 wingspan, I will be perfectly fine when it comes to guarding the ball in the 1s and the 2s and the 5s and the 3s. It don't matter where I take this build. I am perfectly fine on that island with this 85 perimeter defense. Also factor in the fact that we get an 81 steal, which unlocks that silver interceptor. Meaning we will be playing in the lane and stuff like that. Bronze glove, bronze right stick ripper. We'll be perfectly fine when it comes to getting steals. Y'all know my other 6'6". Six, six. He had the 85 perimeter, but then he had a 60 steal. So now I'm able to get best of both worlds. So I get the silver interceptor. Plus, I also do get the high perimeter defense. And then for the block, this is probably low key. I think this is my favorite part about this build, bro. Because it's a lot of times on this game, y'all know... I've been on my 6'8 heavy, bro. And the main fault that I tell y'all about my 6'6 is the fact that he doesn't have a block, bro. He got the 94 perimeter. He got the 85 steal. But when you make a lockdown or any build that you want to play good defense on without a block, trust me, you are putting yourself at a major disadvantage in this game because of the fact that when you get beat on ball, you have no recovery. Trust me. You literally have no recovery unless you have maybe like a high interior or something like that. You have no recovery when it comes to to getting blocks and getting stops once you get beat on ball. So knowing that I have now an 87 block with silver anchor, gold chase down artist, and silver pogo stick, I am going to have so much fun on this build when it comes to everything, bro. Dunking the ball, shooting the ball, dribbling the ball. But also when it comes to guarding these little annoying guards that when they don't have a three, they try to rim run you on my 6'8". I'm not going to lie. It's easy cheese. Y'all getting a lay. But on this build, bro, with gold chase down artist, now nah, I'm swatting that, bro. You feel me? So... With the um, 87 block, we also do get the 72 interior, and then we also do come down here and get the 60 defensive rebound just to be safe. Now, low-key, I maybe could have finessed this and took this down 
and like put my offensive rebound up, I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth it. I low key could do that. I didn't know that I could do it that easily. But uh I think that I'ma just go with like this. I don't know. I'm kind of facing like an epiphany right now. But uh yeah, I'ma just leave it on the defensive rebound. Offense rebounds, I get some of my six eight even without having one. So I'll be decent when it comes to that. And then moving down to the physicals, we get an 81 speed. I want us to get the max speed because you guys know, in my opinion, speed on this game is very valuable when it comes to playing defense, moving around the court and stuff like that. So I got an 81 speed, max it out on this build. And when it comes to getting them chase downs, bro, I got to have a max speed possibly. You feel me? So 81 speed, also a 73 acceleration, which does allow me to unlock that silver fast feed badge. And you guys can see where you get other silver and bronze badges. And then for the strength, this may be a downside of this build, but... I mean, a 50 strength, I think, is solid. It allows me to get everything that I need, which is this silver clamp. So 50 strength, I know it's not the highest, but I really don't have a problem when it comes to playing with a build like this with low strength. Compare it to, no pun intended, but all the strengths this build has. You feel me? Like, I get contact dunks. I got a high mid-range. I got decent ball handling, playmaking, and crazy defense. I will take the sacrifice on a 50 strength, bro. <laughs> it doesn't mean it doesn't mean much to me you feel me so 50 strength and then also to get that gold chase down artist you do need a uh a 80 vert but and i was i was gonna get a 78 verse regardless because of the contact dunk so i just boosted up to an 80 so i could get that gold chase down artist and then for the stamina we get a 98 stamina rounding this build out at a 99 overall and you guys can see bro this is probably going to be my most fun build i've had this year because of the fact that you really like combine you combine literally all of my builds into one, bro. I really haven't had a slasher, so that's the main difference. But you get the high mid range of my 6'8 and my stretch big. You get the height of like my 6'8 plus my stretch big because I'm a little bit taller now. You get the block of my stretch big. He has a 92 block. Now I get an 87 on here. You feel me? And then you get the good playmaking and stuff of my 6'6 and all of that type of stuff, bro. This build is going to be completely insane to play with. The only thing is, it may take a little minute. It may be some rough days because of the fact that we are doing no money spent. But listen, I am perfectly fine because I wanted to make another build this year. And I really didn't want to make, buy any VC or something like that. So me doing this challenge allows me to do both of those, bro. You feel me? So the shades of this build, you get somebody from the Pelicans, Detroit Pistons, and the Warriors. You get Herbert Zones, Jerry Stackhouse. And Clay Thompson, listen, if y'all seen Clay Thompson's game, I'm not gonna lie, me getting that comparison kind of just threw me off, but it's fine. You get the name of a three level threat, and of course, bruh, I'm not gonna just give y'all this build video and let y'all know about the no money spent without giving y'all some gameplay, bruh. You feel me? I know the video may be a little long right now, but we gotta see exactly how good this build is at 60 overall, bruh. We have no VC, so what do we have to lose? Let's go ahead and get into the 1v1, bruh. All right, so now before we do get into our first game on this build, it was important for me to tell y'all that I did just change this build around after thinking about it. I did give him the 60 offense rebound and sacrifice by getting that 45 defense rebound. Let me know if y'all think that's a valid trade-off. I felt like why not be able to get both stats rather than just missing out completely on one stat and then you feel me like it's not like I lose a uh, rebound test. Like I still get it with this setup, but now I just get a way higher offensive rebound and also still a decent defensive rebound. Now, so first... First thing that we have to do is clear out this build when it comes to the VC, bro. So I'm going to just take this uh, railroad or wherever it's at. And we are going to go all the way to Swags or anywhere to where we can and just spend all 20K of our VC, bro. Because it's unfair for me to start off the challenge at 20,000 VC and then try to calculate and stuff like that. So I'm about to spend my last 20,000 VC down the drain. And I got to make sure that I spend it wisely. I low-key want to spend it on boost, but I feel like... That's going to allow me to have a player performance boost or something like that. So I'm going to just go to Swags. I know it won't be hard <laughs> to spend 20,000 VC on this game. You feel me? So we're just going to walk into Swags and just, you feel me? Just fuck up a check. You know what I'm saying? That's what we got to do in order to make this challenge valid. So let's go ahead, head there, bruh. Go ahead right here. Go to Swags. And now let's look at everything we can buy. Boom, right here. We got an oversized hoodie that's going for 20,000 VC. We have uh, we have 20,869 VC. Okay, so we're going to have to kind of try to calculate this. But I know we won't be able to spend that 9 VC nowhere. But um, with this hoodie, I really don't want this. I'm going to see if they got anything else that's going for 20,000 that may be a little more worth it. I don't like none of those shoes. Do they have any short shorts? Um, I could get a puffer coat. Some short shorts are going for 14,000. This code is going for 22,000. 
I haven't had a puffer coat all year. It'd be cold. It'd be cool to low key cop one, but I think I'm gonna cop these shorts right here. Low key, these are fire. So I'm gonna cop those shorts. Those are fifteen thousand, and then I need to find something that's worth five thousand in here, bro. That may be a little cheap for shopping in swags. Y'all know swags on two K is apparently like Louis Vuitton or Saks Fifth or something like that. So we kind of gotta lock in and find some shirt that's actually <laughs> like this shirt right here. I guess it's Palm Angels, but this is worth. 7500 vc bro like this is this is ridiculous so i'm gonna cop those shorts for 15k and then uh it has to be a shirt that's worth 5000 bro or maybe get two pairs of socks for 2500 <laughs> this is crazy you guys see exactly why i'm not buying vc bro i refuse to fund a game like this that makes you buy socks for 2500 vc gang 2500 vc for a pair of socks you literally have to be out of your mind. If you if you one person, to the one person or anybody that came down here and bought these socks, you're ridiculous, bro. But I guess I'm one of them right now because I do have to get up to that uh that $20,000 budget. So we buying those socks right there. I can't wear these shorts because I low-key want to keep like the brown shirt and gray pants until we actually have the image of a higher overall. So just spent 20K right there. And then um I think we may be able to get like a long sleeve or something that's worth 800 vc or something like that what are these shirts worth okay so boom these splatter shirts are worth 800 so we spend on this and now we have 69 vc left i don't know if it's anything in this game that's worth um 50 vc maybe like a rubber band or something like that Bye. i'm gonna head over to i want to say the nba store the nba store where is the nba store i think it's um buy the shoe so i'm gonna head to the nba store or actually dick sporting goods and try to buy like a wristband or something like that hopefully that's around 50 vc something like that so we can make it as close as possible to spending all of our vc before we start this challenge bro so um let me head to down here accessories um wristbands and, and tape and these are 25 okay perfect so we got 25 vc for the wristbands i'm gonna just buy a white one and a black one and you <laughs> this game is so hilarious <laughs> you have to buy them for each hand <laughs> No, 2K is the funniest franchise of all time. So, okay. We bought both of these for 50 VC. And now, just to make sure that they don't have nothing going for um for 60 VC. Let me see. The socks are all 150. Uh, leg wear is pretty much all 150 at the least. And then compressor pants, I'm pretty sure, yeah, 150 as, as well. Headbands, yeah. So, I think the cheapest that we're going to get is these rubber bands for 50 VC. And we're going to cop them, which means... We are starting this challenge off at officially, at officially, hold on, let me leave it before I can show y'all. We are starting this challenge at 19 VC. You cannot buy anything on this game with 19 VC. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get it all the way down to zero, but we are starting this challenge out at 19 VC. Hopefully, y'all still consider it valid. Let's go ahead and move over into our first 1v1 game with this build at 60 overall with nothing upgraded, bro. One upgrade cost like 300 vc or something like that so yeah it's, it's literally nothing we can do maybe his uh rebound nah even 200 vc okay bet yeah we're just gonna head up to this 1v1 court and get into our first game i'm already knowing it's gonna be pathetic but hey it is what it is bro all right bro we locked in for our first game of course we are going up against a mascot he's a diamond three level threat 89 overall 96 strength 92 pulse control 90 mid range 88 driving layup i'm pretty sure he's looking at my stats like what is this dude's purpose of bringing this build to the 1v1 court, bro. 66 block, 66 speed. It's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's gonna be a work in progress with this build, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. And I'm not playing any micro or anything else like that. So we are starting off with ball first, though. So let me lock in and try to get a bucket, bro. He playing up super high. Um, oh, yeah, spin move. Where are you going? Never mind. Uh, tween. Oh, where are you going? Come on. Lay. Of course not. Yeah, we have no animations or anything like that. So as of right now, bro. We have literally nothing going for this build. But listen, when it comes to defense, bro, just like in real life, defense is something that depends truly on your... I was going to say, like, solely on your effort, but of course, um, of course not in this game. But look, we getting a bucket, though. We're getting a bucket, bro. Listen, we're going to win this game. We are going to win this game. Believe me. Trust me, bro. We locked in. Come on, let's get a stop. Oh, yeah, what you doing? Come on. Nuh uh. No, sir. You finna get beat by a 60 overall, man. You finna get beat by a 60. Nah, you're not finna just keep hitting that layup. No, sir. I'm near. 
no interior defense, no block or anything like that. It is going to be tough to get a stop. I'm not shooting a three-pointer because right now I literally have no jump shot equipped. Like, I have no animations equipped, bro. So, um, all of our buckets are going to look like this. They're all going to look the same. Please, bro. Come on. He's jumping. Lay. 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 Come on. Big greens. I'm playing better right now on my bills than, like, that's 95 and 99 overall, bro. We are perfectly fine. Come on. Let's lock in and get a stop now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He don't want that three. He don't want that three. He don't want that three. He probably do want that three. He, 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 he truly does want that three. It's fine, though. Listen, we'll get stops, bro. As long as we continue to score, we are in good standard for this game. He's coming up. He's trying to blitz. Uh, behind the back. Oh, yeah, snatch back. Uh, cross. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, where are you going? Come on. Jump. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Come on, big greens. We getting all these lays that we need, bro. Y'all know the build is a 60 overall. I need my VC, you feel me? After we win this game, I am immediately putting that VC into this player. Oh, my gosh. The step back of hell. Oh my gosh. Okay, maybe he is actually locked in and trying to win this game. <laughs> maybe he is, bro, because now it's kind of like he's trying to apply that belt. He really only missed one shot. So uh he's pressing up again. Like, come on, bro. Oh my oh my gosh. That 96 strength. Oh my gosh. That 96 strength compared to my no strength is hitting right now. But listen, I can finesse my way out of any situation on this game. I'm telling y'all, we are a okay. No, sir. No, sir. We there on that. Come on. Come on, grab that. Oh, yeah, we got the board. Yeah, let's cook. Let's cook. Let's cook. He overplanted. it. Oh, my gosh. Uh, pull spin out of that. Oh, my gosh, no. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm not taking a three. I literally, it's no way that I hit a three, bro. And now he's realizing. Can I get a floater, though? 2K, 2K that's not what I... 2K, I wanted a floater, bro. Why am I taking that nasty layup to the rim, bro? Oh, yeah, good defense, though. Great defense. Great defense. He probably has that fade in his bag. No, he doesn't. He kind of figured out my game because now he's completely sagging off. I have no idea what jump shot I have on. I'm not trying to take a jump shot right now to embarrass myself, but for some reason, I feel like if he's just going to sag off like that, I at least got to show him that I'm not afraid to take the three. But listen, he playing up. I almost just dunked the ball for some odd reason, but he on my back. He on my back. 2K late. Come on. Big greens. The game is tied up now, bro. We not shooting too bad. Considering that we're only a 60 overall. We should be perfectly fine, man. As long as we can continue getting stops. Look at this. Come on. He's giving us the game. He's literally giving us the game, bro. I dare you to sag off. I found my confidence now. I got my confidence. I dare you to sag off. Oh, my gosh. Is this my moment? Is this my moment? Come on, big greens. Oh, my gosh. That felt like green. That literally felt like green, but it was very late. I need a steal, though. Oh, come on, 2K. Come on, get a stop. Good defense. Good defense. Good defense. Great defense. Great defense. Come on. Great defense. Oh, my gosh. We are sticking right now. I told y'all, bro. As long as you have IQ, your defensive rating really, it matters, of course, when it comes to getting stops and getting, like, stopping blow and stuff like that. But if you got good IQ in this game, bro, you will be good with any, any perimeter defense. I, I promise you, bro. Come on now. We got the lead. It's 12 to 10. We getting stops. We scoring the ball. Oh, my gosh, so the behind the back. Yeah, he's going to score off of that every time. I'm not going to lie. I'm going for that. That's the one possessions where I'm telling y'all that defense and perimeter defense rating does matter, bro. If you get cooked on that behind the back and you have no perimeter, you are not coming back ever. <laughs> you are in the dust, bro. Come on. On that rim! Come on, bro. A 60 overall doing this, though? Let's get right, man. Oh, yeah, we in a brown shirt and gray pants. He's shooting off the catch like a weirdo. Of course, we have no speed. And we can't get the rebound. It's all good, though, bro. I believe in our... Yeah, those bulldozer animations are going to be hidden until we upgrade our strength, bro. I know we don't even get that much strength and perimeter defense and stuff like that, but those bulldozer animations are hidden, bro. No cap. Hold on. I got to get out of there. I got to get out of there. Hold on, bro. He's sagging. I feel like low-key since I have a 90 mid-range. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Never again. Never again, bro. That was probably the worst shot I could have took. <laughs> and that was very early. He's a terrible opponent, though, because of the fact that I literally have nothing going for myself with this bit. And now he probably just will take it upon himself to give me the belt as he should have been doing this whole game. I feel it. Okay, bet. He playing up now, though. He's playing up. He got sharp. Take it don't matter, though. Come on, we on that rim again. Come on, bro. With no upgrades, we are dunking the ball like... More than my 6'8", actually. I know he only got a 55, but right now, we are actually on the rim a lot once we drive, bro. No cap. 
Come on, shoot it. I know you want to shoot it. I know you want to shoot it. Come on. We're getting a big stop right there, bro. 16-16. If we can score right here, we are in perfect standing to win our first game on this build, bro. He's playing up, of course, and with a 96 strength, it's going to be a little tough to get past them, uh, them bump animations. But for some reason, I just feel like I have a three in me, bro. I feel like I have it in me. Come on, big greens. Oh, bro, why do all of these feel like green? I should have turned my meter on for this first game. Please, no. Okay, come on. Grab that board. We low-key rebounded for not having no rebound. Stop upgrading. Come on. On that rim. On that rim. Big greens. It wasn't a green, but it don't matter, though, bro. 18 to 16. We are locked in. Come on. Let's get right. No, good defense. Good defense. Good defense. Oh, my gosh. Are we going to win our first game on a 60? Going up against an 89. Is he quit? Is he actually? Hold on, bro. Oh, yeah. Tween, tween. Where are you going? Where are you going? What the fade? No, we get the board. Lay. Lay. Come on. Big greens. Bro, he is about to lose to a 60 overall with not one stat upgraded, bro. You are down bad. It is no way. It is literally no way, bro. No, don't tell me you quitting, please. I can't. I can't do this against AI. I promise I can't. Come on. Come on. Shoot it. Shoot it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. We have reached greatness, bro. We have literally reached greatness. We have reached greatness. I don't care how bad he is. It's just the fact that right now, I am on a 60 overall. Getting my first dub with no stats, bro. Come on. I don't care if you're not guarding me. I'm on that rim. Never mind. It's a green. Get off of my court, bro. For the first game on this field. <laughs> We literally got a dub for our first game on this build, bro. I know we didn't shoot the best. It's fine. It don't matter. We got the dub regardless. We finna see how much VC we actually earned for that game. We're able to be a 91 overall, I think. We just got 1,200 my points. And we earned a whopping 335 VC for beating a 89 overall while being a 60 overall, bro. So, low-key, we got about, like, 350 VC to spend right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and transition into to the progression. You feel me? All right, so after winning that 1v1 game, bruh, we are now sitting at 354 VC. But one thing that I did forget about is our daily spin, bruh. So this is something that is widely available to everybody, so it doesn't count as me cheating. I'm literally just using any in-game reward that I can to get as much VC as I can possible. So we finna come here, spend this, and I am really hoping that we get something worthwhile, bruh. Come on, at least 500 VC, please. We get 500 VC. No, this is crazy. This is crazy. All right, bet. We now have 500 VC to our laser. So that means we are now at a whopping 854 VC for our build, bro. Now, we got to use this wisely. I think the most important thing that we need is a high three-pointer, bro. So just to go up three ticks in my three won't even put us at a 61 overall. Just to go up three ticks will put me at 1,000 VC. But... If I just take it to a 60, which I think is a very fair rating, I will get 729 VC taken out of my account, which leaves us at about 135 or 100. And, listen, my math is not there right now. Let's just all lock in 125 exactly. Thank you very much to my person in my head that just said that. So we'll have 125 VC left. So um, low key, I think I'm going to do this actually. I'm going to do this. Upgrade my three to a 60, and then we have 125 VC left. And just so nobody says that we did scam this video, I'm going to go to Swags and spend the rest of it so now we can actually start off at our rightfully so zero VC amount. You feel me? I know I did start off with 19 or something like that. So right now, let me go to Swags or the NBA store. I think I got to go to Swags and then um, or Dick Sporting Goods and buy, I believe it was something that was worth 125 VC. Or we gonna buy just another wristband and some more stuff just combined to 125 because it was hard to get some to combine with the last number in it in six. So uh, let me come down here. Accessories, armwear. One of these should be 125 VC. So everything is looking like 150, I believe. Yeah. So everything is like sitting around 150. So uh, I see this is worth 25, right? So I'm gonna get one on the left wrist for 25 VC right there. Or Loki, I could just buy five of these. That's great math. All right, so boom. One, two, three, four, five. And now we are at 125 VC, which means that now after our first game of beating the 89 overall, which means I low-key think Thank that I should have been so able to, you feel me, get a head start on the build for winning our first game. But I ain't going to say too much. Um, We now officially are starting off at zero VC 
on our No Money Spent series, bro. Listen, if you guys want to stay in tune with this series, make sure to subscribe to the channel, bro. And smash the like button, too. But subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notices so you don't miss out on any of these videos. And also, like I said, most of this uh, series will take place live on Twitch. So make sure you follow my Twitch. I literally won't be running on any build but this one until we're at a 99 overall. So make sure y'all follow my Twitch. The link is in the description. And last but not least, or two things, make sure y'all hit the links in the description if y'all want to support the channel by becoming a membership to the channel and get exclusive membership badges and an exclusive membership, or not a exclusive, but some exclusive membership emotes, bro. Make sure y'all subscribe to the membership. And also, last but not least, y'all see it, bro. Shop y'all boys some merch, bro. The store is now live. The link's in the description. 2 dashmustcom bro. Go cop y'all some merch, bro. I appreciate all y'all's support, and I will catch y'all in the next video, man.